What up everybody, welcome to the channel. I am your host Mike Fury and I make informative videos just like this one. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And today we are doing the best early abilities on Elex 2 or Elex 2 or Elex 2. Depending on how you want to pronounce it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to do the top five best abilities. And I'm also going to give you guys a couple of extras that you should avoid, which I also put in my previous videos. You know, I kind of mentioned them a little bit, but we're going to get into into more depth, right? So let's go ahead and my controller just stopped. Think. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Your abilities are these bad boys right here. So... They're tied to your attributes, and some of them are extremely good. Some of them are kind of whack. The first one we should be focusing on to maximize your potential is this one right here. A tribute. A tribute is going to give you one plus attribute per level. So in other words, if you get this, bare minimum, you should have this by the time you reach level, I would say before level seven. You should have this. It's 40 int intelligence, if I'm not mistaken, to be able to grab this skill. Grab it as soon as possible. If you're able to get it before level 5, by all means, grab it. I don't think it's possible, but hey, you could definitely make the effort. A um, attributes going to give you one per skill. So every 10 levels, that's an extra 10 points. That means that you are able to stack these up higher. And it's by the time they start adding, they start um, asking for 2 per point, 2 AP per point you'll be ready because you keep on getting an extra 10 every single 10 level. So by the time you're level 21, you've already accumulated another 20, another, uh, on top of the fact that there's other attributes, there's other ways to get attribute points. Like for example, the medium Elix um, potions, if I'm not mistaken, I have one right here. There's other ways to, yeah, a medium Elix potion will get you another attribute. You're able to level up faster and get the better weapons and use the better armors and things of that nature. So that would be number one. Number two. We are going to talk about lock picking. Where is it? Lock picking is going to be right up here. Lock picking, you could at least get two levels on it and then use a reverse specialization to add the third one and therefore having you allowing you to unlock hard difficulty chests, which hold usually a lot of really good loot. I would not recommend grabbing locksmith because that means you only need a single one it's completely useless there's so many lock picks throughout the world and lock picks don't break like that it, like enough for you to be actually worried about it so don't don't waste the point on it don't waste the point on it i'll be i'll be completely honest with you guys let me see how many lock picks i got 112 they're cheap just buy them every time you see a merchant like that's all you got to do point is lock pick is going to be essential another one is going to be hacking Hacking is another central. Obviously, you can see I have two. Being Having the ability to hack, you will be able to hack regular. But when you get to level one and level two, you'll be able to hack harder difficulty chests or safes, if you will. Hacking is another essential. Hacking is extremely useful. It gets a little difficult sometimes, but it, when you have the hacking perk, you could just use the power of deduction and you're able to get these maybe on the, at most the third try. But anyways, guys, hacking is another one. Next up, and these are all the ones that you should be focusing starting off. Next one is going to be another one. Right next to it is mining. Mining is, mining is extremely easy. All you have to do to get the perk is come to the fort. We're going to go there right now. Come to the fort. Go find Scrappy. Scrappy's either going to be, he's going to be in town or he's going to be in that crevice. If I get up and I... So worried about I'm that. Gonna kill myself again. I'm gonna kill myself. If you come over here, he's gonna be the that only one over. that's able to actually. Now he's usually not here. He's gonna be in the middle. I'll show you guys in the middle right now. But he's available extremely early. I see you all got your masks on already. That's good. So that's him. Teach you something. He's one of the dudes that you have to actually help to be able to get access towards um, the upper deck in uh, the upper district in the um, fort. You talk to him, he'll get you mining. And it's an essential. Remember, you can mine Come without on. it. Come closer. But it is Don't an essential it when it comes to actually being able to maximize your character because then you're able to get elix from the walls. You're able to get the most elix from the walls and then you're able to use that elix to craft potions you're able to use that elix to grab or the dark elix to grab to craft 
the other potions that are going to allow you to either gain more XP, which is the small version, gain an attribute point, which is the medium size, and then large one is going to give you a whole learning point, which I think is phenomenal. Mining is an essential skill. And lastly, in my personal opinion, this is one of the best because it just, it's helpful all around. Grab the, at early, stamina regeneration. Not only because melee is a big part of this game, and if you want, you could play as a ranged character, but yeah, at some point in time, you will have to use melee. Stamina regeneration is going to help you run faster, especially while you're, go you're gathering all of all the upgrades for the jetpack. Stamina regeneration is an essential. And by the time you reach level 3, you should have an incredible amount of stamina regeneration, being able to swing your swords longer your axes, your spears, and everything, and being able to run at a longer distance as well, apart from having the jet pack. It's just gonna help your traversal through and through. Now, I would have health up there, but that's for another day, because health is an essential, but it, it asks for a lot of points. Now, let's talk about, real quick, the ones that I would avoid. Completely avoid backstab. Backstab is a terrible skill. Stealth in this game is not a viable option. Backstab sucks avoid another one to avoid six cents six cents you can find a specialization or you can find a pair of glasses that actually gives you this perk definitely avoid six cents another another two that i would definitely avoid is advocate and trusted why because you can save at any point in time there's tons of auto saves number one trusted dialogue options don't come as nearly as much as they should and then advocate pay less for your crimes that's if you get caught if you get caught, you will pay less for your crimes. That doesn't make any sense when I could just literally load up another safe and run away. It's that simple. And finally, the last one that I would completely avoid if I were you is pickpocket. Pickpocket is a terrible skill. Why? Because I just finished saying it. Backstab and pickpocket suck because stealth is so trash in this game. It's not good. It's not a good skill. And they're tied together because remain undetected longer the probability of remaining undetected it's it's bad i do not like pickpocket i think it's a terrible skill not the point point is pickpocket backstab advocate trusted and finally six cents those are the skills that i would run away from and that is it for today guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video found it helpful please hit the like button if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and make sure to use the links down in the description below amazon epic if you're gonna buy anything on either either of those websites use the links down in the description below or my epic creator code help support the channel you can follow me on tiktok twitter instagram links are down in the description below along with my patreon do consider supporting me there a dollar a day keeps the landlord away i'm your host mike fear it's been a complete pleasure until next time mike oh